Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm a little nervous for this video. We're gonna start decluttering, but I want this to be the very last big declutter I ever do. I'll still declutter in the future because I'm still gonna be getting products in that I'm buying that maybe I won't like and eventually want to get rid of, but I'm gonna try to keep this short and concise because I've spoken about this a lot on social media, but I wanna share it with everyone. So I've realized that I have been in this horrible cycle of getting PR in, which I'm very grateful for, but I get so much that no matter what, no matter how much makeup I get rid of in a declutter, within about two or three months, I have even more than what I started with. And I felt like I couldn't find an organization system that would work and I couldn't find, I felt stressed with my videos because I couldn't keep up with the reviews I was trying to do. And when I would see these thumbnails of all my other YouTube friends and we're all doing the same stuff and we're covering the same products, and we're, it just kind of gave me, not a panic attack, but just like this feeling like I have to break this cycle. I can't keep doing this. It's not fun in that way. It's not helpful to you guys because I felt like I would try to review 40 or 50 products in a month and I can't know the products well enough. No matter how much makeup I try, no matter how much I try to use it, I can't, I don't know makeup the way that I used to know it back years ago when I didn't have this much makeup. So in order to break the cycle, I realized I need to stop receiving PR. So there might be a few brands I stay on the list because I genuinely love the brand and they don't send crazy amounts, but most of the packaging was wasteful. Most of it, they're sending these, you know, packages with these things you can't recycle that you're like, it's stressing me out. I'm like, so now I'm just throwing the garbage or I gotta find this specialty place that can recycle this one thing for me. And it was getting to the point where I'm donating tons of makeup, which is great, but one of you guys had the idea, why don't you, when you ask to get removed from the PR list, ask them to send your PR boxes to a woman's shelter, just straight up. Because I was basically just becoming the middleman between the brands and a shelter. Because I would take a big box of like 30 things, I'd pick one or two things out and all the rest would be donated. Thanks to you guys and the support you've given my channel over the years, I'm able to afford to buy my own makeup. And I think the thing that made me feel really sick about it all was that I feel like I just become a pawn for brands. You know, they're telling me what to review by sending me these collections. They're telling me, and all of us, what we should be buying by what they send out in PR. Because suddenly brand A sends out a giant package to a lot of YouTubers, suddenly what are we all seeing in everyone's video, mine included, that brand's products. So, you know, it's cheap It's cheap marketing for them, but I think I, I would rather seek out and buy the things that I genuinely am excited about. And that way, A, my collection will kept, be kept at bay, but B, I'm doing my job better. I'm doing what I set out to do was to let you guys know the best products that are out there that I've found, the products that I'm excited about. So moving on from that subject, the other thing I wanna to touch base with is, because I'm gonna be getting rid of so much, I'm talking 80, 90% of my collection, more than I've ever gotten rid of, this means that I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of products I adore. And the reason for that is, and I know so many people in my last declutter got so sad, they were like, well Jessica, you just three months ago said that you loved this product or it was a dupe for this, why would you get rid of it? Well, if I have 65 primers and I have 20 of them that I absolutely adore, some of them maybe I very recently talked about, I can't use 25 primers, you guys. I can, I can barely use four in a year. Honestly, I think it would take me, I don't even know how long it would take me to use up a primer because I've never used up a primer any time since I've had a YouTube channel. How sad is that? So I'm gonna be getting rid of products I adore and I don't wanna say over and over again, I know I love this, but I wanna tell you now, that's why. It's not because I don't recommend it, but my job is to find the best stuff out there and tell you about it. And so if I've told you about it in a couple of videos, I've done my job. I don't have to hold on to all of the good products I've ever tried because if I did, I would have, well, exactly how much I have and I can't do that. So I hope you understand the why um, because I don't want people to feel like I'm lying to you like, oh, she said she loved this primer and now she's getting rid of it. And the other thing is I used to say, well, I wanna keep, let's say, let's take primers for example. I don't wanna say I wanna keep this primer because I wanna have a drugstore primer. I wanna keep a primer because I love it regardless of if it's drugstore or high end. So you're gonna see me, if I've got a dupe, a high end and a drugstore dupe, and I've already talked about it in a video, well, I could keep either one, but if I'm not gonna use it up, why wouldn't I keep the high end one that I probably spent more money on? Do you know what I'm saying? So don't feel like I'm being a snob about her, I'm not keeping enough drugstore. I'm trying to be honest with myself. I can't keep keeping things to appease other people that are upset about one thing or another. I need to do it for me. I'm doing this for me. Okay, that was like the longest intro. Or right, is anyone still watching? Let's dive in. I'll put it
Here are all my primers. I might be forgetting, let me see if there's any in the bathroom. 45, 45 freaking primers, you guys. And that's not even including these little babies. And I, there are some I haven't even tried yet that aren't in this pile. So like I said, I'm gonna be getting rid of primers. I do love because I can't, I just wanna have a couple. Um, this is gonna be hard. All right, the first thing, and some of these, it's kind of a weird mix. Um, this is SPF that I use every single day, the Paula's Choice uh, Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. So I'm definitely keeping this. I use it all of the time. This is pretty old and honestly, it's almost gone. Like there's like a tiny bit. So I think I'm just gonna throw this in my empties bin. I'm really enjoying this Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. So that one I'm gonna keep. I really like the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. That one I'm gonna keep. This is an obvious, this is like my favorite smoothing primer, the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. Oh. I love this. The Milani Soft Focus Glow is one of the prettiest primers I've ever used. Oh, the Clarins SOS I really enjoy as well. See, this is hard. This is a hard category for me. I really like the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. So I'm gonna keep that one. It's such a pretty, it's like glowy and pore minimizing. Similar to the Milani. Let's just start getting rid of some. So the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, I just don't really use it, honestly. I This is a new one and I'm just finding that I'm not using it as much as I thought I would. So that one can go. The This YSL one is okay, but I don't really reach for it. The LA Girl one, all of these. Like, I love the idea of the mixers, but you guys, it never really looked exactly as I wanted. Like when I would try to lighten it, I feel like I it ends up looking better when I end up mixing it with a lighter foundation, whatever that might be. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Um, and honestly, when I do the foundations, I might get rid of all of the foundations that, I, that don't match me really well. Because I'm, I just, I feel like in all of the foundations I'm trying, I don't really have time for ones that don't match me. The Neutrogena one was okay, but I'm gonna pass it on. This Smashbox one, I don't know. I know a lot of people like it, and I like it, but it's not a favorite. And honestly, that one's getting kind of old. The e.l.f. one, the more I use this, this ended up pilling up on me. This Estee Lauder Mattifier one was sent, and I don't like mattifying primers. Um, Hangover RX is okay, but I don't need to keep it. Elf one is okay, but I don't need to keep it. I didn't like this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Um, this Bare Minerals one's one I like, but it does leave a white cast. So this one's kind of in a, a maybe pile for a second. Um, the Honest Beauty one, honestly, it's okay. It just smells so terrible. So I think I'm going to pass it on. I had it in my bathroom, but I just don't like the smell of it. This one I actually haven't even tried yet. I've still had it and haven't tried it. So it's the Beauty Blender Selfie Shield. So that one's kind of in its own like two try pile. Oh, I love so many. Primer might be my favorite category. This might've been the worst one to possibly start on. All right, I'm gonna pass on the Garnier one. This CoverGirl one I love, but I'm not reaching for it over all of these 80 other ones, but it's beautiful. So if you need a drugstore one, there's literally nothing wrong with it. Same with this. I don't reach for it. Um, I just don't. This Guerlain one, I love the idea of, but I don't reach for it. Oh, that one's killing me. This one's pretty old. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, it's gonna go. I love so many of these. Like, I don't know that I wanna get rid of any of these. This one's still newer to me, I haven't tried, so I'm gonna put it over there. I literally wanna keep all of these. The Nude by Nature primer, I don't know. The more I've worn this with foundation, I don't think I actually love, so that one can go. Um, the Josie Marin one, I just don't use. It's this Argan Finishing Balm, whatever, and I don't reach for it. That can go. I think I wanna keep all of these. This is not me. Usually I'm getting rid of so many, but Jessica, you don't need them. But like all of these make me smile. Like every single one of these, when I look at them, I'm like, yes. Like I want to use all of them. This one I used today, I'm not sure I love. I like the No Pore one, I like the Tatcha. I've been using the MAC one a lot. This is one of my favorites and I refill this for travel a lot, the little YSL Touche Club Blur. I like all of these. Oh no, that's way too many primers. We shouldn't have started with this category, you guys. Okay, going through more of these, this one can go, the First Day Beauty. I love it, but I, I have far too many of these. I feel like I should get rid of more of them. What in the world am I doing with all these setting sprays, guys? I could barely shut this drawer. I wanna just pick a couple. So, um, I think I'm just gonna keep the traditional MAC Fix Plus. I have two versions of it. This one has a little bit of a scent. I'm just gonna keep the regular. The scent one is, uh, this is where it gets hard. Let me think about it, I'm not keeping both. Uh, 
I really like the Anami Radical Setting Mist, so that one's going to stay. I love the Pharmacy Skin Dew. I love this one. Oh, crap. I really like a lot of these. Um, like, I love this Pixie one. I've used almost half of it up, but I reach for the Pharmacy one more. Um, so, I think I might keep that. How much is in this all-nighter? These are all nice, though. Um, the Tatcha one's almost gone. Like, literally, there's, like, this much left, so that can just go... I might keep the cover effects mattifying because I actually use that today and I like the idea that, you know, if I'm too uh, chilled out, I need maybe something to kind of mattify. So these are all going to go. So I've got all of these facial oils here. They all kind of serve different purposes. So it's not like they all do the exact same thing. This Kevin Aquam one's pretty old. It's seen better days. It's one of my favorites. So this is something that I'm going to toss it because I really think it's old, but I would buy again. I really like this. Um... Some of these are almost like too oily. I'm definitely keeping my Glow Maker, my Marilla Oil. I literally use those every day and I just used it this morning. So those two are keeps. This Vichy one I'm enjoying for hydration. I've only used it maybe a handful of times because I have way too many, but I'm enjoying that. Um, the Argan Oil I really like, but it's, it's better for more oily skin. So I think I'm gonna pass that on to my sister. She has way oilier skin than I do. Those are good, but I don't need to keep them. I really, this is so great for travel. I didn't love the priming water. This one smells too strong, and the Honest one, I really haven't tried. So I feel like I might keep the Honest one to try. I'm just gonna pass these on. I don't need, I don't need all of these. Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better of an angle. So here are all of my foundations and face products. This makes me sick. However, there's a lot of these I do love. So we're just gonna see how this goes. I have a feeling it'll be like primers. I feel like primers and foundations for whatever reason are the thing I can't get rid of. But then everything else I don't really have a problem getting rid of a lot and only keeping a few. So we're just going to see how this goes. The obvious thing I'm going to keep are my Misha BB creams. This is like my number one face product of all time. No joke. There, It's a BB cream but it's got coverage. I apply it with my fingers and I love it. I wear number 21 usually but 23 also works and I can mix some. I can use these to lighten things. These are like Honestly, if I only owned one face thing, it would be this. There's a lot I know I can get rid of, so that is the good news there. Um, okay, so my the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation is one of my favorites. That one I'm probably keeping. The uh, Flower Beauty Light Illusion I adore. Ooh, a, oh, the CYO Long Lasting Foundation I'm really enjoying right now. There's so many I like, but I'm like, I, I could possibly pass them on, you know? So this is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in Mont Blanc. I really enjoy this a lot. But it's one of those that it looks good for about half a day and then you need to reapply. So that's something to keep in mind. But I really like it. Um, oh, my La Mer one I do love. I feel like the Physician's Formula is a dupe for it. But I do love this. So I'm definitely going to keep it. That one's probably about halfway gone at this point. Maybe more. This is where it gets tricky. I really like the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear right now. I'm enjoying it too. It's funny, a lot of my favorites actually are drugstore and it's that's just genuine. I genuinely love it. I really love the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. This is trouble, guys. Love my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Oh no, I love a lot of these. I just tried this one and I loved it too. All right, let's get cut, let's get rid of some stuff. I'm gonna get rid of the Estee Lauder. The Hourglass Vanish. I did not really like the Hourglass Vanish. I'm happy to get rid of the Fenty Beauty. Actually, maybe I'll put my Get Rid of Pile back over here. Um, CoverGirl Matte Made was pretty darn good, but I, I just don't reach for it. These are way wrong of colors for me. All of these. Laura Mercier, this is the lightest one they make, 1C0, and it is very, very orange. Um, this Hourglass Vanish stick is so old. It has to go. I've had it for years. This Givenchy one I adore, but it's it's pretty old. Wrong shade. The Lancome one, I'm just going to pass on. It's just slightly light for me. I know when I put it on on camera with all the lights, you guys are like, it's pretty good. But when I wear it in real life, it doesn't match my neck, and it makes me look like a ghost. Um, I really like the Revolution ones, too. Crap. I'm going to think about that one. F4 is my shade on that one, I think. Or is it F3? Um, oh, I love this milk makeup thing. This is newer to me. I just tried it, but I'm enjoying. Okay, wrong shade. Don't love the matte version of the CC. The Becca, wrong shade. This is a little dark for me now. I used to pull it off, but I wonder if I've had it a little too long. It's in 0 0.5 Breeze. Gosh, this is such a good foundation, though. But it's, 
I think, yeah, I think it's just a little light. Um, you know, that blended in pretty well, but I just, it should go. I don't reach for it enough. Oh my gosh, my Kosa's Tinted Face Oil, I forgot about, and it's really dirty, so I'm going to keep it, but I need to clean it. I say Lauder Double Wear can go. The Bye Bye Lines is really old. I like that, though. The, oh, I want to keep all those. These Dior ones um, are too, I think I already got rid of one, are too dark. I wish they were not because they sent them to me and I was so excited that none of them worked. This is the NARS Sheer Glow I enjoy. Um, all right. Peter Thomas Ross CC is good, but it's a little dark. YSL, I've just realized I don't think I love. It works okay with your hands, but they're just better. Like, I'd rather use my Misha one. Revlon Candid I like, but I don't need to keep. I actually really like this, but I, I just can't. This is too much. The It Cosmetic CC and Light is too dark. I need to, I didn't end up buying a lighter shade and I need to. Well, I don't really need to actually. This is too dark. This is the Misha number 23 BB Cream. I actually might keep for travel because I, I do travel a lot. <laughs> um, Morphe one I'm glad to say goodbye to. Number seven Lift and Luminate I adore, but it's a little, it's, the shade is wrong. Same with the Too Faced Do You, but I did like that too. Rimmel Lasting Finish, I've realized this shade is too dark for me. I'm sorry, Rimmel. It's one of the best foundations I've ever tried. Um, I don't use these Cover FX Custom Cover Drops like I thought I would. The LA Girl is okay, but I don't reach for it. Wait, is this my shade in the Cogendo? Uh-oh. i got to figure out what shade I am in that. Um, oh, I really like all of these. The Revolution 6 are pretty good, but I don't need to keep them. This Bourjois Healthy Mix I just got, so I still want to play with that. The Neutrogena Hydrating Foundation Stick I did not like. Lumi Cushion is great, but this is old. Um, this Hourglass Vanish Fluid to like touch up your makeup is actually pretty good. See, I forgot I even had that. Oh, that's my old NARS lid that doesn't fit on it. Anyway, um, I used this today, and I'm still deciding how I feel about it. I don't think I love it. I'm just going to pass it on. The Bare mineral Stick, I'm still trying to figure out. I, It's okay, but it just breaks apart on my nose so much. Let me think about that because that's still so new to me. Um, the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick is pretty darn good too. Let me think about that one. I really like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. The Conceal and Define, I need to figure out which shade I'm in. Yeah, F4 is just slightly more neutral, so I'm going to keep F4. Ooh, pass on F3. Oh, I love the CoverGirl. I love both of these. This is terrible. Um, the Wet n Wild cushion is good, but again, I, I just don't reach for cushions as much. Um, and then this Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, I just rediscovered in my collection and I'm enjoying right now, so I'm gonna keep that. But, oh no, I am getting rid of more than I'm keeping, which is great. I'm gonna pass on this Hourglass one. These two, man, I don't know. I'm just realizing stick foundations just aren't for me. I'm gonna pass them on. Okay, okay. So 012 is my shade in this, so that one can go. So let me just kind of see what I'm working with here. So this is what I'm keeping, not terrible. I could see as I try a couple more of these, um, getting rid of more, you know, like if I, I don't know, because I have so many that are so similar, but it's so hard, you guys, it's so hard. I'm gonna keep two. That's all I'm gonna do. That's that's all I can do. I can't keep all this. Um, I'm gonna keep the Maybelline Fit Me. I love it. Okay, maybe three. Uh, maybe four. I'm definitely keeping my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use all of the time, and I've actually really been enjoying this Hourglass Vanish. I need one powder foundation. Crap. These are well. This one is old as could be, and it's pretty gross. This one. These should probably both go. Um, see, I love, like, I really like this Mousse V Silky Cotton Loose Powder, but how many do I need? And I really enjoyed this, too. I think, the, is the Wonder Beauty one a little light? That one's a little light. I think I'm going to keep the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear, and I'm just going to pass all of these on. Goodbye, powders. Oh, concealers. This is, this one is going to be hard for me as well. That's another one. This, you can tell how much I love concealers by how out of control my freaking collection is. This is worse than it has ever been for concealers. Ever, ever, ever. But the reality is, I only use a little bit of concealer each day. 
Um, I this is too much. This is way too much, much too much. Okay, what here do I adore? Do I get excited to use? This is an easy one. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion is an easy keep. The Radiant, the NARS concealer. I think I have two of the same shade. Yeah. Um, why? I don't know. I need to use one up than the other, I guess. Why would I have done that? But I love, love, love that concealer. I really do like this NARS Infallible Full Wear. And the shade is really good, too. I wear number 340. That's pretty old. Some of these are too high of coverage. Like the MAC Pro Longwear, it's too much anymore. Like, I don't really enjoy using it. I really like the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. Um, that one's looking a little worse for wear. I really like this Cover FX one. Oh, this Marc Jacob one is very new to me, and I'm really, I wore it, to, I'm wearing it today. It's their Accomplice Concealer. It's a stick concealer. Um, but I've even tapped that on my under eye, and I'm really enjoying that. Oh my gosh, this is too much. Some of these, the shades aren't right. Like, I would love to love the Bendy Avocado, but it's, like, kind of orange. Um, I do like this Tarte Creases Concealer. It's kind of odd, but I like it. Um, this is similar to the Marc Jacobs, and I, I would rather use this up considering it is an insanely expensive uh, Clay de Peau Concealer. And I do like this Cover FX. I think that is plenty to keep. I might keep... I really do like this Catrice one. What shade is this? This is a natural rose. Looks a little yellow. I think I can pass that on. Um, but I do see this is where it kills me because I enjoy these YSL ones I was just talking about in a dupe video. I just feel like all of these are a little dark for me when I'm really thinking about it. And I don't, the Tarte Shape Tape's fine. I don't know. I've never really felt that attached. My Bobbi Brown, I still need to buy a new one. I didn't end up buying it. That I'm keeping. It's like my favorite of all time. Those can all go. Oh, I have been enjoying lately this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So I'm going to keep that. Fenty Beauty, I'm glad to say goodbye to. This Fit Me I've been using in my bathroom. And honestly, I'm not convinced I love it. Um, these can go. I, I actually do like this Revolution one. These can go. The Magic Away, I have the shade number one. And it's too light. It's too light. So those can go. The Clarins I liked, but I don't reach for it. I think all of these are going. Holy moly. I did better than I thought. Jessica, good job. All of these are going. I think we're going to end this one there. I could keep going, and I, I think I am going to keep filming, but this is probably a good stopping point. This is already a really long video. Um, it's a good start. Let me show you what I'm kind of left with. I'm going to grab my phone to do it. I'm going to show you what I'm left with and what I'm getting rid of just from this alone. So this is everything I'm keeping from all those categories. So just like four oils, four powders, looks like uh, five or six setting sprays, not too many concealers. It's still more than anyone needs. This one and this one was hard, harder than I, uh, honestly, it was harder than I thought it would be. I don't know why, but it really, it really was. So hopefully I'll use these a little bit more and have a better idea of, you know what, I'm really not reaching for this primer. So those hopefully will get whittled down because I'd rather be able to fit all of my face products and primers in one of these and not two. So we shall see, but here is everything we're getting rid of just in that category. Concealers, powders, primers, oils, setting sprays, foundations, so much stuff, and it gets a little deeper there. So I'm really proud. I'm certainly getting rid of more than I'm keeping so far, but I'm still not, I don't know, I'm not totally satisfied. So we'll see if this will change as this declutter goes on. Okay, I'm not satisfied with how much I kept, so I'm gonna get rid of more um, because I just, I keep coming back to this and looking at it and thinking, you know what, I can get rid of more. Um, so looking at it, I'm going to pass on the Charlotte Tilbury. It is getting a little bit old and the cover girl, I think is just a little bit dark for me. The, let's see, I think I'll pass this on too. I like it, but again, I have plenty that I like and like, I'm really enjoying the pro glow right now and the physician's formula and the flower. So I don't feel like I need to keep, you know, five of the same kind of a finish. I like that. I'm gonna pass these two on as well. I like them, but again, I have plenty that do the same thing. And the sheer glow. So that's a little bit better. That's a little bit more manageable, I think, for me. And then primer-wise, I'm gonna get rid of some more. I'm gonna get rid of these two. And I'm gonna get rid of the no pore bloom. I like it, but again, same reasoning. I don't need them all. I think I'm gonna pass on, I really like this, but I think it's breaking me out. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna pass it on. 
I like the CYO, but I already have the Mac, and I'm aware that I just bought it, but I feel like I've shared the info I need to share about it, and I just don't need both. They're taking up room, and I won't use up either one if I keep them both. Okay, that's a little bit more doable, too. I could see myself, because I don't feel totally satisfied, going back to especially the foundations and primers and getting rid of more because um, I'd like to whittle it in half. It's just hard. I mean, these are these are things I love. So we shall see. But I hope you'll subscribe, stick around for my next one. I think I'm going to tackle blush, bronzer, and highlight next. That's got to be next. I need to do it. So I hope you'll subscribe and stick around, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.